What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back with the Saturn, the 2002 Saturn SL1. It, so many of you showed so much love for in the uh, in the first video of it. I decided we're going to show her a little bit more love before we just send her right back to the auction. So here she is, the 2002 SL1 that we got for $300 and either $25 or $375. She's sitting here running. She's purring like a kitten. And I had a lot of you saying, I can't believe you're going to send it back to the auction looking that way. Randy, you should paint it. You should put hubcaps on it. You should have it detailed. And you'd still make a profit on it. No? No, I can promise you if I go and get this car painted and detail it and put hubcaps on it, I will not make a profit on this car. But, and there is a but here, it is a good little car. And I have decided it's worth doing a couple things to it. She's a little bit on the dirty side as far as the interior is concerned. The body I'm not all that concerned with, but we're going to go ahead and get on the spot detailing out here and they are going to clean this car up. Look at those floors. I, mean, I don't know how good they're gonna come out, but uh, I mean, the car is, it's a little dirty on the inside. Look at that, like especially through here, right? That's nasty, I don't wanna send a car off that way. So we're gonna have on the spot come out and wash it. They're gonna detail the interior, clean the windows, all that good stuff. I got some hubcaps for it that are coming. I think, oh, I think hubcaps alone will make her look a hell of a lot better. And it's a heck of, a, of an investment for like 35 bucks. 35 bucks for a set of hubcaps. Yeah, worth it. But as far as sending it to paint is concerned, that's not gonna happen, guys. That's not gonna happen. Um, no, it's not gonna get paint. The paint isn't hurting anything. In my opinion, it's not that bad. I, I've had cars here that looked a lot worse than this uh, in the paint department. Uh, <laughs> so I'm not gonna sit here and stress over that, but like that, all of that yeah nobody wants to get a new car and have it looking like that man and and look at all the it's just nasty down there nobody wants that guys nobody wants that so we're gonna go ahead and uh play musical cars here um in case you forgot here's some of the cars we still have um this one this one's getting a new windshield today it's getting detailed today then i'm doing headlights and an oil change i think and then that one is going down the road as well so the 96 or 98 BMW 318 convertible. This one is almost out of here, guys. It is getting a detail today and a windshield, and she'll be heading down the road really soon. The Audi, the 98 or 96 Audi A6 Avant, we have not done anything to this, just sitting here. It's got my helmet, some cleaners. We're going to get back to this one, but we have these two right here. We have the Saturn, we have the Scion. I know you guys forgot about the Scion. There's a video coming on all of this, guys. The Scion is getting a new windshield today as well. Uh, BMW, here's the interesting thing. I called Safelite. Safelite quoted me uh, $475 for one windshield for the BMW, I believe it was. Um, I got a hold at Jessica's request. I got a hold of Los Primos Auto Glass on 23rd Street here in Oklahoma City. They're gonna come out and do this one for 150. They're gonna do that one for 150. And they're gonna charge me a $40 fee for coming to my house. So for two cars, all right, $300, plus a $40 convenience fee, 340 bucks for two cars versus $500 from Safelite for one car. Yeah, Los Primos, Los Primos should be here pretty soon. We'll get some new windows in these things. Well, we got the Saturn all cleaned up, guys, and I'm not sure if it looks any better <laughs> than it did before, but here she is. <laughs> she does look better, guys. She does look better than she did before. Um, I think hubcaps are going to make a huge difference on this car. As soon as I have those hubcaps, this car is going to be ready to go down the road. This car, this car is almost ready. The only thing it's lacking, literally, our set of hubcaps to make it look a little bit better. I'll show you the interior. It came out really, really nice as well. This would, this would be a great candidate for a $300 Mako paint job. I, I mean, it would really transform the way the car looks. I'm just not doing it, guys. I don't have the time nor the patience right now to wait for uh, for a Mako paint job. Look at that interior, though. I, I mean, honestly, on the spot detail came out here, and they knocked it out, man. It looks nice. It smells good. 
It runs good, it drives good. Look at that. I think they did a great job. And you remember in here, it was just covered in dirt. Lots of nasty, nasty stuff was going on in here. And uh, he really made it look a lot better. Uh, he came out here and did a bang up job on this car. Oh, I should show you under the hood too. Definitely should show you under the hood. We used a, a little bit of super clean on the engine here. I highly recommend their products. They don't pay me to say that either, guys. But uh, they do send me full disclosure. They do send me free. Uh, they do send me free product, um, and in return for the free product, I do shout them out whenever I use it. So there it is. Look at that motor. Uh, Two hundred and seventy thousand miles. Yes, that was some uh, super clean degreaser. All right, and a light pressure washing. Nothing heavy, just a light pressure washing. Look how that came out. Tell me she doesn't look good, guys. All right, with that, I'm going to cut this clip and we'll come back when we have a set of hubcaps for this and then we'll send it down the road. And they say you can't polish a turd. I'm going to disagree with you. You absolutely can. Now, it may not be the best looking car. We have a dog. What are you doing, sugar? What are you doing? You just happened to show up, huh? You want to be on camera? That's fine. It's amazing what a little bit of work and honestly, just a little bit of money can do to really transform a car and make it look a whole lot better. It's the same 2002 SL1 it was when we picked it up, but those hubcaps. Um, yep, I custom picked those myself. I thought it kind of gave it a, a little bit of a sporty look, but you know, kind of an elegant look as I'm totally kidding. I just bought some, some $20 hubcaps on eBay. <laughs> I was like, all right, those will look okay. And there it is. It's cleaned up inside and out, as I showed you earlier. Yeah, you still got all the clear coat peel. Guys, who cares, man? It's a beater mobile, man. It really is. It's got an air conditioner that works, a heater that works, runs and drives great. Ugh. Put the key in. Oh, didn't have to wiggle it this time. Whoa. By the way, the stereo is actually pretty good in this. Um, <laughs> the stereo is actually pretty, pretty decent in this. Look at that. She purrs like a kitten, guys. Purrs like a kitten. It cleaned up nicely. Pop the hood for you. Look at that. Now, I'm not a fan of the, of the underhood grease stuff. Uh, that's that's not my thing, but I mean this thing was so nasty when we first got started with it It looks so much better and yes, it is on its way To insurance auto auctions. That's right guys now if you're looking for a little beater here you go guys I told you all I'm gonna put the reserve at a hundred bucks on this a hundred dollar bill So anything over a hundred dollars. I'm telling you. I'm telling you you are getting yourself a running driving 2002 Saturn with cold air and hot heat with good tires that looks decent for nothing. Oh, by the way, it doesn't leak anything and I don't think I can even get y'all under there. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can adjust the camera and get you guys under here. Unfortunately, this is as low as I can, this is as low as I can get you guys. I can't, I can't get you any lower than that. There's water back there. That water is from the cars being washed. I got this new light today from Walmart. Great little light right here. I mean, super, super bright, like 2,400 lumens. Thing is ridiculous. So anyway, there she is. It should be picked up any day now. By the time you see this video, she'll be down the road. Man, this water is taking forever to dry. You can see where the cars were detailed. The cars were detailed here. You got water just, just standing. I don't know why it takes so long to dry in here, but I guess it's, it's dried up a lot more than it was. You can see this water was all over the place here. So get a little bit better. But guys, you're watching this video, guess what that means? That means down below, there's a link that's gonna take you straight to this car over at Insurance Auto Auctions. You can bid on it for yourself, and you can know with confidence that if you bid a $100 bill and you win, this car goes home with you. It's, it's that simple, it's that simple. Yeah, she's not a beauty queen. She's not gonna win any beauty contests or anything like that. But uh, man, what a, what a good old car. What a good old car. Wanted to show you the interior one more time because honestly, I think the interior 
is one of the best parts of this car, man. It is just so clean for its age. It really is. And it's miles, 300,000 miles. I mean, look at the seats, the dashboard. Unbelievable. The door panels. This is this is almost 300,000 miles, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> almost 300,000 miles. And she looks this dadgum good. Look at that. Yeah, it's not a showpiece. I know a lot of people don't want this old car, but uh, there's somebody out there that needs it. Let's turn that heater on. It's a little chilly out here. Oh, yes. There we go. There we go. It is a little chilly out here. There's somebody out there that's going to need a car. It's not going to leave oil staining all over their driveway. You know, just something that can get them where they need to go, man. This little car, this little car is it. It is. She's a, she's a good old girl. Obviously, she lasted 270,000 miles, so she took good care of somebody. Oh, oh man, I miss you. Now, I'm almost ready to get out of here, but first, I got to thank a special subscriber for sending me something. Look at this old beauty right here, 57 Chevy. Absolutely gorgeous car. I'm going to leave it in the box. I don't take these out of the box, guys. But uh, thank you so much. This is from a, a new YouTuber called Tracy Hills on YouTube. Tracy Hills. Assuming I can find your link, I will drop it down below just underneath the uh, the link that takes you to the Saturn, guys. So if you want to go check out Tracy Hills on YouTube, definitely go check that out. How about we come over here and fire up that Harley real quick? We haven't had her running in a while. So tell me something, guys. You think I should get rid of the old girl? I, I shouldn't call it an old girl, man. She's a 21. She's not old. She's only got 300 and... 300 and... 322 miles on the odometer, man. I'm torn. I'm real torn. I don't ride the damn thing, but I'm telling you, it's just like the Hellcat. Honest to God, it's just like the Hellcat. It's super scary. It's super dangerous. But when you're in that zone, it's just the greatest damn feeling in the world, man. It is. It, it, if you've never ridden a bike, I don't think I could explain it to you. Um... I really don't want to get rid of it. Every time I get on it, even if I'm not taking it out for a ride, even if I just get on it, man, and just kind of sit on it, hold them handlebars. It's a special feeling, guys. She ain't running a while. There it is. There it is. there guys that is a thing of beauty right there man she's ready too guys she is <laughs> hey you see how it lurches man and i got the clutch in all right i got the clutch in she's in first gear but yeah man when <laughs> you fire her up she's like she's like let's go baby she's ready she is ready to roll i guess comment below tell me what you guys think of the old the old harley man should we should we get rid of her? Should we keep her around a little bit longer? Boy, guys, hey, you notice I changed my shirt. I changed my shirt. Yeah, I'm actually wearing one of the shirts I used to wear. And my hat, too. My hat, too. I don't wear those clothes all the time, guys. I wear those clothes while I'm making videos for you guys. But I actually went out today and had to do professional stuff where I had to, you know, like, shave and look presentable to the world. Yeah, I had to go take care of some business out at the new property. Um, I actually had to change it up a little bit, man. Boy, it feels good to wear my own clothes again instead of wearing a damn uniform. I'm, I swear I'm in a uniform all day, every day. I never get to wear my own clothes anymore. So, yeah, today, it is what it is, man. <laughs> I'm, in some, I'm in some nice, personal, relaxed type of clothes, man. Look, do me a favor. If you enjoyed this content, hit that thumbs up button, man. Let me know what you enjoyed the content. I'm going to get out of here. Remember, the Saturn is down below. Anybody interested in a dirt cheap A to B car with a heater and air conditioning? link down below guys go go check it out i'm gonna get out of here stay safe out there everybody i look forward to seeing you all again very very soon 
in the next one.